Tonight we are investigating what led up to a Boeing whistleblower's death in a Charleston hotel parking lot over the weekend. Our Ann Emerson finds out what we know about Barnett's state of mind before his death, which the coroner has said appears to be a suicide. I think he was in good spirits when I last saw him. John Barnett died while he was in the middle of a months-long deposition process in his case against Boeing. He said he was retaliated against because he blew the whistle on unsafe practices by the aerospace giant. The case was set to go to trial in the summer. He was looking forward to completing his deposition and then driving back home to Louisiana and seeing his family. So, I, you know, it was a total shock to us when we found out what had happened. Barnett spent more than 30 years working for Boeing, but he became an outspoken critic of the company after retiring. That put Barnett in the media spotlight a lot. The last few years, he was obviously under an enormous amount of scrutiny, and his lawyer said it weighed on him. John was suffering from PTSD and anxiety as a result of the hostile work environment that he experienced at Charleston at, uh, at Boeing. But was it enough to take his own life? That's what everyone wants to know for sure. We did not have any indication that he was under tremendous stress to the point where he would, you know, take his own life. Working for you, Ann Emerson, News 4.